Cam is a Netflix movie that appeared um, a few weeks ago. Uh, it is, well, on the face of it, it I thought it was going to be a sort of standard slasher type film. Uh, the premise is that a young girl who works on a cam site, you know, where she sort of strips off and does things for money on the camera, uh, has her identity stolen and sinister things occur thereafter. Uh, it wasn't the kind of film I thought it was going to be. Um, instead, it took the premise that there was actually a doppelganger of her that one day takes over her accounts and is performing online at the same time that she is other places and they can tell that it's live and that it's actually happening so they're typing in responses and she's saying and doing things they're asking them to do and she's trying to work out what the hell's going on. Um, it's well acted by the main actress whose name I'll throw up at the bottom. Um, it's well directed and well shot. Um, it felt different, it felt engaging, it wasn't too long. Um, the main issue with it though is that the ending, you don't really get any answers and there's setups for things that you know, I thought were going to at least pay off or be addressed later in the film. Um, for instance, she's at a party and she meets a friend who is played by an actress who you would be familiar with from the Flash TV show. Um, and you think, okay, fine, you know, and she looks at her phone and she goes, oh, can I take a picture of you on it? So she takes a picture and then she goes, can I just have your phone? I need to touch up my picture. And you think, oh, she's doing something to her accounts. That goes nowhere. There's no further mention of this character and you wonder if she's on the cutting room floor somewhere. There's also a person who is sort of a sugar daddy to her that pays lots of money for these things and he gets sort of interrogated by her and he says, oh, he knows people are being copied, but he doesn't know why. And then that sort of goes nowhere again. You waste 20 minutes of the film with her meeting up with this guy, interrogating him, getting this response, and then nothing really happens from it. Uh, and at the end, she just ends up in some sort of video standoff with her doppelganger um, and breaking her nose, which, somehow, and which results in her winning a bet with her that Met gets her to delete her account. Um, and then it's back to normal, which I'm sure, I know I have read an explanation online saying that it's because she sold out and she's regaining her individuality, etc. But do I, should I have to go online and look up an explanation for an hour and a half sort of sci-fi horror film on Netflix? Um, it says should, that I had no other, other clue as to how the matter was being resolved. Uh, I don't think so. This is the kind of film you should be able to watch and enjoy and go at least have some semblance of what happened at the end. Um, there are ways they could have taken this film that would have been much better or much more creative and interesting and still had the same level of impact or still got across the same message. Um, so yeah, Cam. Um, a good, well-made film up to the last 10 minutes um, and worth watching if you like something a bit different that's in the same genre of sort of I don't know how to describe it, sort of thriller, psychological type films. Um, but don't expect it to be a sort of standard slasher film. If you want a film that is exactly that, involving cam girls, then watch one called Girl House. That's a fun film that follows the proper path of that kind of film exactly, and you don't feel cheated or upset about it. You, you know, it's got an enjoyable outcome and it's uh, well made throughout. Thank you.